search into the UK's conversational habits reveals that more than half of us enjoy small talk to brighten our day, with nearly a third of the thousand people questioned admitting that they've formed friendships as a result of chatting to strangers. Top conversation topics include transport delays, television, but some of the worst opening lines include, what about the weather? Booked any holidays this year? And is that seat taken? So it looks like we're a nation of chatterers or chatterboxes, but do, do you think that small talk's a waste of time or do you like it? I love a bit of talking nonsense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's really, really nice to have a little chat where, about things that don't really matter because sometimes, you know, you, the, the real stuff you don't always want to talk yeah. about. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'll talk to anyone, you know. I'm, I'm happy to have a chat with anyone at the supermarket at the checkout, yeah, anybody, you know, because yeah. people often come up and chat to us. Yeah. Um, and I've, you know what it's like when you're like in the back of a cab and you're chatting with the driver and you think when he starts talking and you've got like a three hour journey because I live in the country now so I've got quite a bit of time in the car sometimes, you think oh here we go, he's going to be jabbering all the way home and you start, you know, how are you, fine, you know, he starts telling you about you know, his, his, all his life and everything and then you think it's going to be a sort of nonsensical chat and after three hours you know what he's going to vote, you know, you know, all his, all his family <laughs> and actually you feel quite like sad about getting out at the end. Sometimes it's quite liberating. Yeah, and, you, mm. and also because they don't have, you don't have an angle or it doesn't really mean anything and you're not going to see that person again, it's a great way of just dumping on them and running. <laughs> yeah, and also it can get quite heated, can't it? Yeah. You can start having an argument with somebody you don't even know and you don't really care what he thinks and he doesn't care what you think and then you get in this terrible argument. Yeah, and and it it's, does, terrible, yeah. it's awful, isn't it? Yeah. I'm like that. But the thing is, also, but it's, it's tittle-tattle really, isn't it, Jane? Mm -hmm. I think it is. You know, it's a bit dangerous that but when you go to the hairdressers why is it us girls always tell the hairdressers everything don't we girls <laughs> what is it all our gynecological I can't even say it yeah. <laughs> everything that's wrong with us we tell the hairdresser I think it's good to get things off your chest the only thing with me is I tend to talk quite a lot and so people sort of walk away in the end <laughs> <laughs> or maybe go to sleep and, uh, and, and so I have to kind of study that but the thing is you do like to talk to people don't you, you do you like to say oh you never guess what's happened to me I know she's <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> marvellous. Marvellous. Pausing oh, for breath I, would be good. Well, yeah. You see that? I, you see, I, yeah. What I do is I listen. So I'll say, oh. yeah, so if somebody asks me a direct question, I'll answer them, but very, very quickly, and say, but what, what's your slant on it? I've noticed you, because you're a yeah. cheeky monkey, aren't you? Because no, I'm not cheeky You monkey. are, because you get out of anybody knowing anything about this myth. Yes. And then and she gets everything out of you, <laughs> yeah, well, don't you? Well, that's nice, because I like to hear about everybody else. I, I'm, I'm not so bothered about because lots of people know about us. So yeah. when there's a stranger in the car, I, used to, I like to ask them mainly mm. what they think, so then it takes the heat off, off you as well. Yeah. So if you don't want to be talking, I just say, oh, but what's your view on it? So, and then and it also just you can get some it. really interesting takes on life from people that you wouldn't necessarily always bump into. But I've, I was always quite shy of chatting to just anybody, um, just because I just thought, oh, I'm not very good at it. But since being with Steve, who will talk the hind legs off anyone, mm. um, I've seen how much fun it is, and I, lo I love it. We have a good, I, I chat to people in the supermarket, I chat to people at bus stops, I'll chat to people in queues. You know, yeah, most yeah. of the time they're like Sherry, they're <laughs> running away. Um, but it, it, sometimes it is really fascinating. You can get a whole different perspective and you kind of put your own life to one side yeah. for a bit. What starts like like it. It, is it is and what starts off small can be a massively important conversation yeah. at the end, Yeah, I find. Yeah. OK, someone who can chat for Britain is model and actress Kelly Brook. She's revealed that her rugby player boyfriend, Danny Cipriati, is a secret fan of the TV show Glee. Mm. And he even sings songs from the show while they shop. She said the other day I could hear him in the next aisle singing, I'm just a small town girl living in... A I thought you were going to join in. Living <laughs> in... <a small laughs> you are on your own. This is, your own this is why I'm not a thinger. So, um... <laughs> Danny's got glee stuck in his mind. Thanks, girls. Um, but what song can't you get out of your head, Jane? Well, of course, I'm on tour all the time at the minute. And uh, our last song of the whole tour, not the, the tour, the end, I mean the show, <coughs> the concert, is Dance Yourself Dizzy by Liquid Gold. Yay. And everybody... Dance yourself dizzy when they boo. She's freaking out, baby. You're an 80s girl. Oh, I can't wait for the concert. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it, everybody just ends up singing that, and it's one of those hooks that you just keep humming and humming. And we're always singing it in the van on the way home as well, so it's a wow. bit 
Oh. Can't get it out of my head, that song. Well, I have to say, we had Billy Ocean on, and oh, oh and he sang suddenly. Oh. Suddenly, I love to me, to me. <laughs> and it, was, it really made me cry. Yes, that made me cry. <laughs> When the going gets tough, the tough get off. Oh, thank you for playing the real one, so we didn't have to listen oh, to Jerry. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Can I just tell you something? For years, I thought he was saying, go and get stuff. Yeah. Oh, yes. I didn't know that it was when the going get... I used to yeah. sing merrily walking down the street, go and get stuffed. <laughs> to do sometimes as well is you know it's so easy and it to get a tune in your head mm. like we used to when we were on the bill we used to we were hanging around on set we'd go up to someone we didn't like like a really butch bloke or something and go I should be so lucky 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 and then you'd find you'd be going about 10 minutes later oh, I should be so lucky lucky lucky, lucky. <laughs> it's, try it it works it's, it's brilliant called it's called, it? called planting an earworm is it yeah you do it and then and then run away oh. I, I must admit I've just been I'm I know sorry to still go on about it but Michael Bublé because I was there the other the other night with you Jane it was just uh, Amazing. it was so lovely yeah. so I've been having yeah. Michael Bublé for the I've, past actually I've years. been um lucky I've been, girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I mean, it's not such a jolly song, but I've been looking for songs for my nan's funeral, and uh, one of the, one of, and they're songs rather than hymns, and one of them is a Dean Martin song, which is, uh, I don't know if you remember it, um, you're nobody till somebody, somebody loves you. you. My nan and granddad used to sing oh, it at a party, so I've song. been singing that, which has been lovely, I've oh. enjoyed it. Has, it. has it helped? Yeah, it does, actually. Mm. I mean, there are three songs that I've chosen, and every one of them kind of reminds me of a time in my life with yeah. my nan, so... They're important, aren't they, 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 they are. Yeah. They're more important than you think.